everybody. My name's Bill. I'm the last caller. I don't know if you've been watching the news, but it's all sorts of screwed up out there. You got candidates doing this, you got candidates doing that. At the same time, none of it matters. People are still starving. People still don't have health insurance. And everyone's talking about nonsense. Well, I don't want to stand for it. I think it's time to take back our country. You know, I have a fight between the left and right, but haves and have-nots. You know what I mean by it, right? I think you know my views on the subject. I think it's time to get ready. Time to shine the shoes. Time to get yourself a haircut. Kind of write those notes. You know what I mean by that. These special ones will know exactly what I mean. So go out and shine your shoes. We'll take back this country. The people's country. Not a bunch of Billionaire politicians. What do they know about what's going on in Ohio? Or Iowa? Or Wyoming? They barely can spell those words. But we have a long way to go. We have a lot of things to fix. But I can tell you that I'm not sure if I can trust this government. And I don't mean that like a partisan way. I mean, if it's not this one person in power, it's someone else, but all of it's still the same. Let's take a break. I'll be back in just a moment. Whee! That's right. I know it's been a while, but you can say it with me. It's your old friend Yosemite Sam. And I was out with some friends the other day. We went to a little little bistro, had some had some coffee, had a couple of drinks, you know, all the things you, you do. And they got they asked me, How did you get here? You don't have a bicycle, you don't drive a car. And that's when I told them. I took the city bus. That's right. Public transportation. You know, I think it's much cheaper to take a bus sometimes than it is to have to have a car, do maintenance. No, I, I think a car is necessary for, like, groceries, yes. But, you know, everyday trips, you might want to consider taking a bus. It takes a little longer. You know, a bunch of people there it might be a little strange, but it's it's more economical for everybody. It's like a dollar or two to take the bus, and you get there your place, and then you can, you know, you can do whatever. In fact, one of my favorite things to do, and I don't tell anybody, this is just between me and you, right? One of my favorite things to do is to drink just a little bit too much alcohol and then take the bus home. Now, that's smart because then you don't get a ticket. You don't end up hurting anybody. There's not some dead child on the road. No, you're in a bus. Someone else is doing the driving. Now, 
you didn't hear that from me, because I wouldn't be that irresponsible to drink just a little too much alcohol during lunch. But that's right, though. Check out your local bus system. Hey, everybody. My name's Rick. I'm here at the pharmacist. You need medications for your life? Do the doctor say you need something for whatever ails you? Well, bring it to us and we'll fill them with a good price. And a smile on our faces. We're the pharmacy. Two locations of Syracuse. woo it's your old friend, Yosemite Sam. I think I've told you before, but I don't drink a lot of alcohol. Like, I don't I don't usually drink at all, which makes it awkward sometimes when you want to go to a cool place, but all they serve is alcohol. And then you got to feel like you got to drink to fit in. Well, let me tell you about a place that that isn't a problem at all. It's Coffee Central. Coffee Central, you can get you can get a cup of coffee, you can get an Americano, you can get a lot, you can get those fancy drinks that you get at the Mermaid Place, I forgot the name of it. Uh, but you can also get an Italian soda, it's just club soda and, and flavor. You can sit, you can play some of the board games they have, you can hang out with your friends, and you don't have to worry about that alcohol stuff. It's chill, man, it's a chill place to go, so... Coffee Central. Check it out. Hi. My name's Bill. They call me the last caller. Have you seen the, the coverage? Oh, a bunch of hooey. One candidate's gonna win. Yeah, I can it or not. Well, initially they, they set up that... I don't know. I lost my train of thought. Perhaps it's time for me to fall asleep. Yeah, that's a good idea, are you?